Hello there, I've just bought a new ammeter to go on my 2015 Royal Enfield Bullet B5 model because the MIL light has been removed because it's had a carburetor conversion on it. So if I just show you down there. So I've got the vacant hole up here which I really need to put an ammeter in but I want an ammeter which is working. So I need to do a few modifications to the actual wiring first on the bike uh, and that's what I'm going to do next. So the ammeter would normally wire in between the positive cable and the positive terminal on the battery. This I can't do on this bike because I'm just going to remove the battery cover and show you why. And the reason being as I can't do it on this bike is because the positive terminal, there is only one single cable. Now normally you get two cables, you get a thick one which goes to the main starter and a thin one which goes off to the rest of the electrical power system. This one is slightly different. It's not because it's got a different battery fit, it's just the way this bike is wired. So this main lead goes down to the starter relay and then you have a secondary wire coming off from there which goes to the power. So I'm going to have to ex cut that and extend that wire up so as I can then split that and connect the alternator into there. So I've come round to the other side of the bike now. I've just disconnected the negative terminal from the battery. Now this plate I'm not sure if it's actually this black plate which I'm shining the torch on. I'm not sure if that's standard fitment or not because of the modification on this bike. But I need an 8mm and a 10mm socket just to remove those two bolts and remove that plate so as I can access the wire behind. And that's what I'm going to do next. I'm just going to apologise now for the noise in the background. Unfortunately, my wife's come out and put the washing machine on, but I think you can still hear me okay. So what I've actually done is that red lead, this part here and this work, they were joined together. So that was one lead going from there across there to the main loom. I actually cut it in half and I've soldered two extension leads on, two completely separate leads, and I've extended it so as I can have it up here, easily accessible. What I did, is I soldered on, you can't see them here because I've got them taped with, uh, they're insulated anyway but I put some extra tape round, I've put some bullet connectors on and the two leads from each side of that red goes to each terminal and it goes up to the ammeter and then back to the other side. So that lead effectively has been extended up through the ammeter and back. What I've also done here is because I the reason I use the bullet connectors is because if something goes wrong with the ammeter or for any reason I need to disconnect it all I need to do is pull the bullet connector apart and just reconnect the two leads with these two reds back together and that is completes the original circuit so that is the job really it's straightforward and um, I used a solder and iron purely because I do like to do proper solder joints and um, it just makes it safer and, and more secure but easily accessible under the seat up under here somewhere and I can put it back to standard if I want to I did I have I have tried the bike and it works okay the ammeter shows a a, a charge when it's on and a, a deflection to the obviously discharge when you turn the ignition on before you start it if it happens to show the other way if when you turn the ignition on the needle deflects to the plus or the charge side it just means that these two wires just need swapping round they just need swapping over so the, the current has gone through the correct way. But that's it, straightforward really. Um, any questions, just ask. Uh, very, very straightforward. So hopefully you can do that quite easily. And I'm just going to put it all back together now. So um, that's it done. Okay, so there's the finished product. If I turn the ignition on, you'll know it's a slight deflection into the red zone. Not very far. But if I put the lights on, it deflects over into that. 
So when you start it up, that should then go back into the green. That shows that it's charging. If it goes over to the green side when you just turn the ignition on, then the two wires, as I explained earlier, just need to swap them round and it will show the red rather than the green. But it should go into the green when you start it up. So thank you for watching uh, and I'll see you in a, a future video somewhere. Bye.